Good evening, or good morning. <laughs> this is Mr. Willie, West Virginia. It's uh, August the 7th. Uh, it's a Tuesday. Um, I didn't videotape yesterday because uh, I was coming off of a day of being completely exhausted and, and somewhat uh, depressed. Something that doesn't happen to me um, a whole lot. Um, I'd go into details about what exactly happened, but it was just an assault. It was just an attack. and. And it was an attack that came to me after I preached a message about David and Goliath, which is just kind of almost kind of silly that I would I would give in to an attack right after preaching a really great message about David and Goliath. But there was also, I, I salted the message with uh, a little bit of information about Saul. And that's what I want to talk to you about is the fact that Saul was anointed king of Israel before David was. And Saul lost the kingdom um, probably within five chapters of the Bible, and all because of disobedience and partial obedience. Um, what I realized after I got home and, and then through praying yesterday and thinking about it was that Saul had the kingdom ripped from him because he decided to, rather than listen to God, he was going to listen to the people around him. And he made some decisions according to the pressure put upon him by others to do something that was completely against what God wanted to do. Now, we all do this from time to time. We're all influenced by family, by friends, by children, by spouses, by different people that try and make us believe that something needs to be done a certain way. And I would encourage you that if it's against what God wants you to do, um, don't listen to them. Um, I went from being depressed, a little downcast, a little discouraged, to being blessed the very next day. Um, Monday, one of my children came in from New Jersey on the way to Florida, and uh, he and his wife blessed me by their presence, and they blessed me with a present. Um, God is good for people, and, and I've told you before in, in one other video that literally God can change things like that. I had a very huge problem alleviated that fast yesterday, and it wasn't just that that, that caused me to realize how good God was. I've got so much going on in my life right now, and sometimes you can get distracted away from what God is doing by something that goes wrong. In the midst of all of that, I had people I know praying for me. I had people that encouraged me. I had people, my pastor, who uh, spoke a word. And uh, I just needed to be still. Scripture says to be still and know that I am God. Basically, for me, Monday I just was still. and just kind of let God be God. And I want to encourage you all, if you're having some problems, some struggles... Be still. Stop trying to run around and fix it. Stop trying to run around and get someone to agree with you. Stop running around trying to figure out how you can scrounge up enough money to pay whatever. Be still. And he will let you know that he's God by you being still. Okay? Hey, this is Mr. Willie in West Virginia. I'm Willie Owens on Facebook, and I'm Mr. Willie in West Virginia on YouTube. Um, check me out. Share, do whatever, you know, I'm, I'm at a point in my life to where if people like what I do, great, if they don't, if they want to join or, you know, subscribe, whatever, fine, if they don't, no big deal. Um, God is moving, and he's using whatever and whoever that's willing to move with him and listen to him. I hope that's you. All right, hey, have a great day. Shalom.